Hello, I thought it might be useful for me to um, very, very briefly, in video form, try and talk you through a little bit about how I go about doing things literally from the inquiry stage right through until actually packaging up and delivering a set of photographs um, to my brides and grooms. So um, here I am at my desk at home. Um, I have a home office that I work from. Um, generally, um, most of my inquiries come in via email. So 99% uh, of the time, when I reply to people initially, this is where I'm sat, or this is where I'm taking phone calls. Um, when I reply to people's inquiries, uh, I send them quite a comprehensive uh, email with links to various weddings that I've shot that demonstrate the sort of thing that I could do for them. Uh, the full package information is in there as well. I only do one level of coverage which is all day coverage so I explain that as well to them um, and I suggest that we meet up for a little bit of a chat keep things um, very relaxed and informal no obligation to book but um, a chance for them to ask me questions have a bit of a chat about the sort of thing they want to do um, and me to, to get to know them a little bit and, and basically to see how we go from there so that's where um, that process starts and through the rest of the video I'm going to show you a little bit of um, where I then go and meet couples who come back to me and would like to meet. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of pre-wedding shoot behind the scenes and I'm going to show you a little bit from um, weddings and I'm going to then uh, finish back here and, and show you what the, the final product is that I deliver so uh, hopefully it just gives you a little bit more of an insight into uh, what I do. So uh, just a little uh, insight into um, where I meet my brides and grooms, potential brides and grooms who've been in touch and want to have a chat about me shooting their wedding. I'm here at Great John Street Hotel in Manchester. I'm talking in hushed tones so that other people don't think I'm a weirdo speaking to my phone while I wait for my couple to arrive. Um, basically it's all about setting the tone, uh, the kind of um, service and experience that they're going to um, receive from me if they decide to book me uh, and here is a perfect place to, to really set that tone it's table service, it's me getting them a beer or a glass of wine in and just having a really relaxed chat about their day uh, about all the plans they've put in place so far and all the plans they've got over the coming months uh, and seeing how we go from there so I'm just going to give you a very little look around the room So as you can see, pretty cool place, uh, and I'm just waiting for them to arrive, and uh, we'll see how we go. Hey, so here I am on a, a pre-wedding shoot with one of my gorgeous couples, Kate and Andy, who are getting married next year, who uh, don't mind um, being seen in a little bit of video. Say hello, guys. Hello. Hiya. Um, so we're just having... Um, having a bit of fun messing around in a field keeping hoping that the rain keep, keeps off um, and hopefully I'll get to show you a couple of pictures from the shoot a little bit later on in the video gorgeous Kate beautiful very nice look at that look how gorgeous she looks she does look nice doesn't she very nice nice Go oh, gorgeous there we go <laughs> So, just arrived at today's wedding at Packforton Castle, Kath and Ian are getting married here. Um, it's going to be an awesome day, it's a beautiful place, I'm really excited about it. If the weather stays like this we're going to be in for a good one. Um, hopefully get to give you a little bit of a look at some stuff um, I'm going to do a little bit later with the bride and groom, if all things go to plan. Um, but again that'll be uh, as long as I've got a little bit of time um, to speak to the camera, um, not to the detriment of the wedding obviously. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little uh, nosy at where we are today. Okay, so it's evening time, just before the first dance. I've snuck out with Kath and Ian at Peckforton, um, just to do a couple of uh, really cool little shots. Um, it might be quite difficult for you to see them, but hopefully if I do this, you might just catch a glimpse of them there. Um, we're just getting set up to do something really cool. and. Um, it's been an amazing day and I'm very excited about the first dance as well, which I think they're a little bit less so, but they've got an amazing routine apparently, so I can't wait for that. Right, on with the shots. So I'm here getting everything ready to send out the door to uh, this particular bride and groom. Um, everything's now packaged up. I'm going to give you a little look at exactly what I do um, with the packaging. Um, 
everything is presented in a bespoke box with my logo on and then within the box is the USB stick with all the high resolution files as well as various resized versions as well just to make it easy for people to use. I do a DVD slideshow, sets music of the bride and groom's choosing and then as a little um, extra surprise I include a handful of fine art prints um, just with a little note attached that just says um, some prints to get you started which people love. Um, anything that just adds a little bit of value, makes them feel really special um, is really really important to me. Uh, I always try and over deliver. Um, in my contract it says for example it takes up to eight weeks to deliver a full set of images uh, from a wedding um, and I endeavour to have them ready for when people come back from honeymoon um, as a surprise so there's uh, there's something waiting for them when they get back um, that goes down um, really really very well um, so I'm just going to give you a little look at um, the package in here so this is what the outside of the box looks like um, beautiful um, kind of um, embossed finish there inside the box this is what they get so you can see a little note on there with the prints all wrapped up and that's what it looks like as a finished product.